Pisces is Aces Week, baby. Anytime we enter a new season, we just entered spring or the new year, it's a good time to do an Aces check. So this is the board I'm using for you and all 12 signs. Let's talk about it. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Let's go over the definition of Aces and Tarot so we're all on the same page. So the Aces, more often than not, people think, ah, brand new opportunity, either one we are working towards or it might be coming towards us. We want to know. The second type is actually the most common, and that's renewed Aces, stuff we already have in play, committed to, signed up for, love already, and we keep it going, ideally because it works for us. And if it doesn't, we need to take a look at that as well. There might be room to re-engage with that Ace, make it better than it was, or scrap it, and then really make room for a new opportunity. Okay, that's why we're here. So I should see a mix of both, new as well as renewed. Let's take a look at that Ace of Swords. Like always, though, take it resonates, leave it does not. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate. Normal. Frustrating, but normal. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Now, the Ace of Swords. Strong new thought, therefore new action, or reoccurring thought, and therefore action. Let's see that Ace of Swords, please. What's currently going on for... Pisces, show me Pisces. What's going on, please, for Pisces? Let's see that Ace of Swords, please, for Pisces. Hope you enjoyed that total solar eclipse. Not that you had to view it, okay, in order to participate. It's an energy shift. It's very distinct. You either felt it a little bit or you didn't. Well, that's all right, but let me know if you did. Excuse me, let me know if you did. King of Swords is in reverse there. Four of Swords, the Empress. Typically, don't read the clarifiers in the downverse. Don't have to. That's one of the benefits of using multiple decks, is that I see the surrounding, and it's less confusing to the viewer. But uh, he's there for a reason, upside down. King of Swords, Four of Swords, the Empress. I have a liar and a not liar. Someone who represents anti-truth and has no determination. No set mind upon anything. Not good. When you can't make up your mind, you're always lying to yourself because you don't know your own truth. You refuse to become acquainted with it. Thus, the consequences are you can't be taken seriously. Okay? You don't know your mind, therefore you can't know your actions. The same is true for heart, spirit, that kind of thing. This is the type of person who... If they talk, it's always out of the side of their mouth, never directly with meaning or intent. Always looking for a back door, okay? Never be pegged down with their own speech. Uh, outwardly lies, lies to themselves. Everything begins with the self. So if we're lying to ourselves, the odds are we're going to be lying to someone else too. Right? That's the natural thought. And uh, someone who cannot or will not refuses to take action. Don't know who this is. Four Swords, the Empress, whoever here is the Empress who represents empowerment, and by that I mean they always accept the truth or do their best to understand it, therefore adopt it, embrace it. That means the consequences that are either positive, negative, or anywhere in between. Doesn't matter. Empowerment says, I'm empowered because I'm capable of ruling. What does capable of ruling mean? That means ownership, no matter how difficult. That's what it is to rule. That's what it is to be empowered. It does not mean I get what I want. That's how a baby thinks, a toddler thinks. An adult who's empowered says, if I want the best in me, I have to be willing to make difficult decisions in this life and accept the consequences of such. So, whomever here is showing me outward empowerment has been resting for sorts on this uh, not truthful, can't stand on their own two feet, can't make decisions, can't make up their mind person. Outwardly cold, too. Possibly aggressively cold. We're thinking real hard about the person who doesn't seem to know how to make up their mind or speak forward into somebody's eyes when they're talking. Ooh. Now this has my attention. Well, all the readings have my attention, but this one's got my extra crispy attention. I'm from the South, honey. We compare everything to fried chicken. Okay. That's <laughs> just the way it is. There's, there's crispy, and then there's extra crispy. This one's got my extra crispy chicken attention. <laughs> oh, boy. What's up? 
what we're thinking. What we're feeling about this. This is a brand new thought. You, somebody here saying I need to rest on this, what I know about this person, this character. This person who refuses to stand or stand by a decision. What about it? Judgment. Five of Wands, Seven of Cups. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, mm hmm. We got a we got a lesson here. We got a lesson here with Judgment, Five of Wands, Seven of Cups. If it feels bad, then it probably is. If well. Let me be more specific. If it feels confusing and bad, then it probably is. If someone can't make up their mind, it will be made for them. Someone resists their choices. Therefore, they will have none. That's how that works. Empowerment says, I see this in you. And I'm resting on it. I see that you refuse to understand your mind. I see you refuse to understand your feelings. I see that you refuse any sort of development that suggests you can speak up for yourself, never mind act on it. Um, I refuse to acknowledge the truth. They refuse to acknowledge the truth. Whoever's gaining insight in the healthy way is starting to see this person for who they are, someone who cannot self-identify. Never mind stand by. But they refuse to think. I mean, you cannot fix what you do not acknowledge. This person refuses to acknowledge. They don't know what their truth is. They don't know what their feelings are. Cannot stand by their word. Constant liar. We're seeing this now. Somebody who changes their mind constantly, that kind of thing. Because they don't know who they are. And the Empress Four Swords, we're seeing this. And we're seeing it as a lesson for what it is. And this is current. This is very fresh. But four swords, this is being done on, I'm assuming, yours, because it is your reading, your private time. I was just quiet. The Empress here is being quiet for good reason. We need to examine these things. It's serious accusations when we have that against somebody. I'm starting to see you for who you are and what you're not. But we're doing this privately, quietly. It's fresh. The Ace of Swords is fresh, but as far as I can tell, you're still in the information gathering stage. Okay. I cannot, we, we cannot trust this person to stand by their word, never mind the action. You know, that mouth is over there writing checks. He can't cash, so. Okay. I don't know who that is. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could be anyone I literally just described that meets that criteria. And we're kind of seeing this person for who they are. Could be a family member, could be a coworker for all I know. I don't know. But it falls on the person who meets the criteria for empowerment to do something about it. If we continue to humor this, then that is anti-empowerment. Okay. Let's say that ace of wands, please. All you can do is control your own behavior. Okay. Let's see that uh, Ace of Wands. I may or may not see any more on that. I do not know. Any new passions, feeling, hope, inspiration, source of change, light, enlightenment, walking the path. What's up with that Ace of Wands for Pisces? Let's see that. Ace of Wands for Pisces. Page of Cups, Six of Wands to Five of Cups. Yeah, your confidence here is taking a hit. It's really hard to feel hope for new because right now your, your confidence, which would be your source for inspiration, guidance into new beginnings. Six of Wands here, Page of Cups right now. 
your heart's preoccupied with sadness and the five of cups. It's hard for you to feel that sense of renewal or any new opportunities right now. What's going on? It may not be connected to this. I do not know. We're struggling to keep our heart space open with confidence. Never mind, really tap into that passion. Show me why. Going back to the truth, Ace of Swords, Devil, King of Pentacles, so it's related. Okay. Being connected to this, like I said, if we continue to choose to stay with it, it's going to take a toll, and it's going to represent anti-empowerment, as you're showing me. You put those thoughts together. Very good. You didn't actually need me to point that out to you. So that tells me you're a little bit more on the developed side, Pisces. Good job. Uh, I know that sounds horrible, looks horrible, but you could have also not had this thought. That's how I know. That's kind of how I know when I'm working with a client, their readiness level to look at difficult things. So the Pisces I'm looking at, your willingness to look at difficult things suits you. It's a credit to you. How you act on it, I don't know. Not yet. It's a little early to tell. But uh, you've done a heck of a job. So I, that reassures you. Because like I said, you could have ignored this, but you didn't. Because there's consequences to everything. The shit we don't want to look at. That will come back to haunt us with interest later. So yes, naturally, your sense of adventure, passion, etc., as we discussed, is going to take a toll right now because you're kind of preoccupied with this. It's tying back literally to your ace of swords and that hard truth with that downverse king. You're saying you're scared to make a decision. King of Pentacles with the devil. There is that sense here of... I got used to this. King and Queen of Pentacles, all signs, okay? All signs, all kings, all queens, all emperors, all empresses, they all have pros and cons. Even the devil has pros. Absolutely. Depends on how well you know the cards and their true meanings. So that King of Pentacles and the Queen, they have a big con. Comfort zone. Comfort zone. People work so hard for their comfort zone because it's supposed to be our comfort zone. And we don't see how we can often become a trap in it. And this King of Pentacles feels threatened by this truth. Because that means it feels like we got ourselves trapped in this. And we don't know how to get out of it. We're used to it. Because it's whatever this badness represents also represents our comfort zone. That truth is tied to this liar as well. We're used to this. I don't mean outwardly lies, guys. I mean aggressive, cold never makes good on whatever it is they're saying, always has an excuse. They resist the truth. And you've tried to probably point out their hypocrisy a thousand times over, and there's always something. But there is no commitment to determination to know thyself, never mind take action from that person. And you're telling me you're aware of it and you're starting to see how immersed you are in it. This person then has let this help you and guide you, lost all believability. And if that's true, and it looks like it is, it's on you to be the believable one. You can do it. You can do it. You're bigger than your comfort zone. And if you built it, if you nested in it, then you can unnest it, and you can unbuild it too. That's also within your powers and skill sets, but you have to see that, especially if they don't want to. There's something about this person, honey, I, I don't know how long they've been like this. I just know it's been like this long enough for you to understand that in some way you got used to it and it scares you. You know, they, they don't mean what they say or they can't back it up or they won't. They say they forgive and they don't. They say they forgot and they didn't. It just, it feels like a punishing energy. I don't know what, but but you can't, you can't question someone who doesn't know who they are or they're being a hypocrite and they don't see it. That's the advantage of always lying to yourself. You never have to see the truth of you, especially if you're an asshole. So that's what I'm saying. While your fear is natural and I don't blame you, you can't be afraid of your own truth that you're just as bad as they are and you'll stay with this forever. Never be afraid of your own truth. 
After all, it came from you. How bad can it be? I, well, you can see how bad it gets when you deny it. <laughs> but do you remember how good it can be when you are open to receive it? So I don't blame your confidence for taking a hit. It's like I allowed this to happen. I got comfortable with this. What does that say about me? I understand. But what does it say about you that you're recognizing it? Okay. Work with what you know now. Try not to get lost into that thought of how come I didn't see it sooner, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, why do I have that feeling like this person? I don't want to focus on them. It's not about them or they, and I'm getting pissed off with it. It's, the impressions are impressions. I Pulls the rug out from underneath you a lot. They said, I absolutely feel this way today. And then, well, that's what I thought last week. And then they bring up shit from 20 years ago. I don't know. It's like there's the constant lack of forgiveness, can't trust, a lack of consistency. And that's what I'm saying. When you constantly lie to yourself, you can be inconsistent all you want. And you won't hear a word of it. Okay. So there's something there about the rug pulling, constantly being pulled out from underneath your feet. You have to be bigger than this energy that surrounds you. I know. We feel very immersed in this. Okay. What are we going to do about it? Fresh thought. Therefore, the wand energy for you hasn't changed. Okay. Okay. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Not yet. It needs more time. Let's do that Ace of Cups, please. Let's do that Ace of Cups. I'm not saying wait. I'm saying it needs more time because you're still developing the thought and gathering evidence, as I said. I'm not advising you to wait. In fact, the more you can gather that information, so much the better. Okay. Let's see that uh, Ace of Cups, please. Let's see that Ace of Cups. Any new or possibly renewed love spaces for you or just how you are feeling about yourself? Full stop. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please, for Pisces. Show me the Ace of Cups, please, for Pisces. Two of Swords, Page of Wands, Seven of Swords. You can't even imagine opening your heart space up at this time. It seems too convoluted. It's too scary. I don't blame you. Um, there is that sense here, but I don't even know if I could dare hope for that kind of thing in my heart space or otherwise. Given your situation, I can, I'm can. i going to push that further. I want to see past this. What's, I'm not saying I don't blame you for that, honey. I don't blame you for that. But I want to push past it. I don't blame you for that. I really don't. Nevertheless, I'm going to push. What else, please, in that Ace of Cups? Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands. That's where you are. Good, good. Your heart space, if it was being honest with itself, wants to reject this. Because it's so much bigger and beautiful than whatever this is. I really think you got out of tune with who you are as a person. And that's why the idea of being open to love in any form it might take scares the hell out of you. You can't see it. You can't even imagine it. On the contrary, your heart space, if it was given the full weight to command without any hang-ups and having to dig further for your investigative skills about the situation, would just block this. It would block this. This is what I would actually like you to trust. Okay? As a developed Pisces, you might have some very strong earth in your chart, by the way. Um, could be connected. That's not the point. I see your grounding principles that say 3D, 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 3D. I understand who you are in essence would have blocked this shit without thinking twice it's been a while since you've been on your own with the nine of pentacles and the queen of cups but when you last were this is the pisces i'm looking at you would have told yourself i never would have put up with this shit 10 years ago 15 years ago whatever it was before you got into your comfort zone with this it's like the heart of you 
knows that this Pisces never would have tolerated this scenario if they had known. But we didn't know those things at the time, guys. I don't know when you got involved with this. I just kind of see how your life has sprawled out in it, that you got used to it. Uh, but the, the Pisces from yesteryears or yesterdays would never have tolerated this. They would have stamped that shit out before it had a chance to take root. But that's when you were on your own, right? Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. That's so much beautiful pride there. I know who I am. I feel it. And P.S. I have the real world experience to understand who the hell I am. I never would have tolerated this how many years ago. I would have nipped this in the bud before it had a chance to affect my life like this. That I was so afraid to see myself in it now. And the truth of it. That never would have, I never would have allowed it. So this is the Pisces I trust as the core of you. I want you to listen to this voice about that lack of tolerance. I never would have put up with this shit. I know it from experience and I know my heart. Had I known X, Y, Z, I would have blocked it. Well, we make the decisions that we make as best we can at the time. This is where you are today. So I want you to keep in that vein of knowledge. This is the knowledge today as I understand it and I can't keep projecting it anymore. And just because I'm used to it does not mean I have an excuse. In fact, it obligates me to do what they can't or won't. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Still don't know who this is to you. Um, I did see heavy, like I said, entanglement to the real world in some way, in some way. And I, it, it looks like it goes beyond the scope of just energetic connectivity. You're saying it's in your comfort zone. But you don't see it as comforting anything. So I don't know what that could be. Uh, a spouse, a lover, I have no idea. But the seriousness of it is here, and we can't keep denying what's there. And I don't want you to. I want you to get back in tune with that version of yourself that says, I would never tolerate this. That Pisces, when I was my whatever age that was, I never would have put up with this shit. I don't know. Time passes, and we hope we choose the right people to give our power to in a loving, safe way. That suggests I'm giving you some of my power, you give me some of yours because we're safe with each other. And look at us go. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Look at our empire stretch out. You know, we started here, we got there, and that was a safe exchange of power. I am made better by you. Here's some power. You are made better by me. Here's some of, you know, etc. So, but when we just give it away or people stop reciprocating or they take it to a bad place, habits kick in. We become somebody we're not familiar with or the other person becomes somebody we're not familiar with and it seems to degrade the whole thing. You know. So again, if you are the empowered one, as I believe you are, see this for what it is. Stop excusing it. Okay. I would say get confrontational with it. I know. It seems like there's no point. I don't blame you. Somebody who refuses to understand... If if somebody's addicted to not being honest or it, it, and it's going to be like throwing words at a, a wall, but it's really for you. That confrontation is needed for you more than anything else. So it might seem like a futile exercise, but you will at least be able to say you said your piece before whatever happens is whatever happens. Let's say that Ace of Pentacles. Let's say that Ace of Pentacles, please. You know? Let's see that Ace of Pentacles, please, for Pisces. King of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that King of Pentacles was you. I just, I think you interpreted it correctly. Did I really allow myself to get comfortable with this? Because that's a scary thing, right? How did I allow this to happen? Takes two, so don't forget that. 
but it takes one person to recognize their part and to stop participating. All it takes is one. It takes two to make a successful, happy, healthy relationship, and it takes two to destroy it. Okay? Even if it means I got used to it and I didn't even know I was participating, it's still a form of participation. The point is, is that we catch on to it. Okay? So I know that King of Pentacles is freaked out that this is my reality. Really? This is my reality? This is why I don't have emotional confidence in myself or the situation anymore? I understand. It's that same sense of grounded reality coupled up with remembering your heart space and what you find to be intolerable that's going to really tell you what to do. Both of these energies are a thousand percent you. You are showing me I'm on board with me. My thoughts and actions are consolidated. I see you communicating. What does this Ace of Pentacles represent to you? I could not say. I just know that you feel a lot more, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Your thoughts and actions are lined up. Okay. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the star. Okay, I see you figuring out what your next life path is. Okay. You're going to be making decisions, backing them up, communicating, making the right investments. Um, I see you investing in a new star and something else altogether. That means something important to you. How you handled this situation, you didn't show me that explicitly. I just know that you made a strong stance on it. Communication and action. And now you're wondering at some point in the future about your best next investment. Something that means something of deep personal value to you as the star. You're saying you actually put it off a long time and that you're not going to put it off anymore. I'm very curious though, and I love that. I love that you made up your mind about a particular subject, something that represents a very solid investment that you are actively communicating and deciding upon for the sake of your long-term future that's further out there. That's very personal to you. You're on board with it and you found a way to navigate towards it. You did, realistically. I'm very happy for you about that. I do, however, want to get back to this. I want to see, I know what you would do in your heart, that you would reject this, right? But did you? There's no guarantee I saw it as a theory once I pushed past the indecision. I'm happy that you are, look at, look at this comeback of your energy right there towards the end on the Ace of Pentacles. You really have a strong sense of application for the future and how you would drive yourself forward to that future. And it's something that you went back and forth on for a long time, baby, but you're getting there. I love that you're aiming, you're literally lining yourself up for a star. You're all in. You are a thousand percent all in. But I want to make sure that you don't have anything else holding onto your coattails that would keep you from it. Because this is the absolute definition of a drag. I don't know how you can achieve something that high for you and still have this attached to you. What happens with this situation, please? Can I get more on your process? Blockage, I know. Blockage blockage but what does that mean to you page of wands the moon that's what you are devising that's you that's your power card right there that's what you are indeed devising right now consolidating yourself too okay so with the hermit there that's indeed what you're consolidating too okay you have a plan or you're trying to develop a plan how you can block this out of your life you don't quite know how you're going to do it. It's just something you've now begun to open up towards, but it's been under your moon, so that's been sitting with you for a hot minute, huh? But now we're starting to acknowledge it there with the hermit. You show me block. I'm not seeing a ten of swords. I'm not seeing the world. I'm not seeing death. I'm very curious of why you're choosing to block. 
I think you're trying to find best solutions. Possibly. Maybe you're giving them some wiggle room for improvement. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, but the fact that you're looking at it suggests that you are indeed trying to find a solution to yourself, bare minimum, to get, at least give yourself distance from this. I'm very curious. I am very curious. For now, perhaps it's enough to try to block this from interfering any more in your life than it already has. Until you've 100% gotten on board with you about what it is you would like to do. After all, that's a fairly fresh Ace of Swords, like I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then going back over here, I wanted to push this idea of the star. You're saying it's something constructively that is very positive for you. A new beginning that you were very excited about and you say it absolutely a thousand percent feels correct. You don't know how you're going to do with this, do you? But you kind of know what you want the end result to be. I think what I'm seeing here is that you're not comfortable. I'm confident of this, given the fact that we're just now pulling that energy. As temp blocking's only going to do so much for something like this that's ingrained or very much part of your known world. Blocking's only going to achieve so much. So I don't quite know what the results are for this. Neither do you. You're just now warming up to it. You're not comfortable with it yet. The solution on how to deal with this and what does that look like? Because blocking is only going to take this so far, guys. This, however, you're saying has a much stronger attachment to you. You actually see a new beginning with a very sharp definition profile. So not only is it showing up in the 3D, communicating decision, action, and investment, you're saying it feels so correct to you it's not even funny so i believe i'm looking at a pisces that you're more concentrating on the outcome of moving your life forward which means you haven't fully begun to detail how to exit this or stop participating in it because i don't know how the hell like i said you can have a new beginning like this which is strong and proud and beautiful and well-defined and deeply personal to you satisfying too with this attached to you I still think you're working through that. And the actual output of it is unknown to you yet. I think you're kind of a gentle Pisces. Okay. The idea of outright ending this probably feels really weird. Right? Even if you have ample proof. I think you're going to try to do it as a gentle way as you know how. But first it's kind of like blocking as much as that interference as possible that's up to you okay terror doesn't dictate action you do terror is the proof of choice not the absence of it your method is your method perhaps it'll be more clear to you later in the season particularly in fall rebirth winter divine time trust some of you will know your rebirth by next winter or you felt it spiritually first this past winter like i said that ace of swords is still relatively fresh but uh yeah Winter, time for transformation, bare minimum, in divine timing. Yeah, I know. I think I caught you in that process, to be honest. You may not see it that way, but I promise you it's here. Divine timing. And then there's that sense of new beginning there. Okay. The Ace of Wands energy. Air. Yeah, you have... Exactly. What occupies your mind now, Ace of Swords, and what occupies your passion now, Ace of Wands, both of these, and I see it for myself, have the opportunity to be radically new. But we're not done dealing with something yet that would give us the opportunity to lead into new. Both of these have the opportunity for a reset, but you're currently working with pre-existing constructs that say this may not be good for us anymore, Pisces. What do we do about it? Okay. Yes, a rebirth, the transformative effect. Time of winter. You might have some scorpion in your chart. Trust that timing. Mm. 
It's a concern, number 33. Yeah, I know. There's the deep contemplation of these things. I know. It's upon you now. Yeah, yeah I know. I get it. Number 33, by the way. What's that? What's that? I have you over here in the oracles. Take these with a grain of salt. They're little bridges, sometimes to the main story. It may or may not have anything to do with what I'm, uh, you take it as it applies. The concern for all this is real, etc. And then I saw the lover's card, number nine, tulips in this deck with Lenormand. Tulips classically represent the lovers. I did not see a lover's connection here today. Magical thinking, the childlike magical thinking. Do we have magical thinking or we feel like we have magical thinking about a special connection? Or are you thinking a lover's connection is too magical thinking you have to work with reality? Great fortunes in reverse. It's magical thinking to think we have anything to offer that connection. That's for some of you, not all of you. I'm not saying it is magical thinking. I'm saying the Pisces I'm looking at thinks that we have anything substantial to offer. A lover's connection is magical thinking. Why would you think that? That doesn't mean it's true. That's perceived notions. That doesn't mean it's correct. You wonder if you have anything to offer? A strong connection that is not this. This is anti-strong connection. It's also anti-healthy, anti-honest, anti-consistent, anti-loving of the self, never mind someone else. Constantly pull out the rug underneath your feet, always looking for a fight, and then says whatever they need to say in order to feel believable, etc. So I don't know what that is, but it's not a lover's connection, my darling. But FYI, some of you think about a strong connection. I don't know if it's specific. I mean, just in the general sense of having something more emotionally deeper and satisfying. And you wonder, is it just magical thinking that I have anything to offer them? And I'm just confirming your thoughts. That doesn't mean they're true. Twenty six is in reverse. For some of you before the twenty sixth. 9, 13, 33. But sometimes we think about a special softness. And is it all just magical thinking and nonsense? I have to work so hard. I work so hard for my reality. And people nibble at my... Do you really honestly think... Yeah, something in here I work so hard and I have nothing to show for it. The mice that nibble at the resources. They take away from my resources. People just take and take and take. Or the situ And I provide, I provide, I provide, and I have nothing left to show for it. And I have no substantial substance for a strong connection, something that actually does speak to me. Stop giving away your resources and your power. First of all, nobody should work that hard and have little to show for it, at least they feel they do. And second, if you really have such a strong sense of connection or lover's connection, what can you give them that has nothing to do with finances? A strong lover's connection says, I love you for the way you are, not necessarily what you can provide. Now, I understand people always want something to provide. Okay? This is what I can offer. Okay. That is more in line with conditional relationships. And most people would argue that most relationships are conditional. What you're thinking about is unconditional love. Separate the two. Everyone who really loves someone else always wants something to offer the best of themselves in some way. Who said it had anything to do or measure against resources? What can you give of yourself that is unconditional? And that is a powerful connection. Someone who would accept it, say, I love this because I love you, and this is what I can give you. Anyway, that's if you believe in all that. <laughs> that was quite a bit right there towards the end with those oracles, eh? Okay. Okay. Nevertheless, despite those misgivings, whatever the oracles say, I still see you heading off into a new beginning. 
one that's actually been with you for a long time, that you've been working through for a long time, that you would like to aim yourself towards in due time. So it seems to me you actually have quite a bit to offer. But uh, hey, there you go. I can say it, but it's up to you to see it. I hope this helped you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.